to discuss this, we'll again go back to our uh, <coughs> original zero detector comparator. Okay, that's our base comparator. And now we are considering what will happen if there is noise, you know, okay? If there is a noise, then we'll have some problem, you know, because the noise can, a small amount of noise can bring the level at the input above zero or below zero, you know, and then cause the comparator to trigger to high or low continuously without actually having a signal which is higher or lower, okay? So, for example here, if you have, so we're considering the zero crossing detector in time domain, you have T here, and you have V out here in time, and V in here in time. So, if your input is like this, you know, like this, and then suddenly the input, the small changes, you know, which are not really actual signal, but which are actually noise, you know, that can happen, you know. So, <clears throat> whenever the input is here, this input here is, so this is your V in T. When the input is larger than zero, okay then it will switch to low. So, initially say this is your V set plus and measure the same amount here. This is your V set minus, okay. So, as long as the signal is below the zero value, okay, this is the zero value level, then the output here will be high. So high means here. So it will be high as we have done on Monday. It will be high until this point. Okay. Until this point, it will go down. <coughs> go up again. So these are all correct, you see. It will go up again. Then here again. It will go down again. Here again. It will go up again. Okay. And then there will be a few transitions which are due to noise, you see. So it goes up here, go down here, up here, okay. Down here, okay, up here, down here. up here, down here, you see? So it will go through a few transitions, okay? It will go through a few transitions between high and low due to noise, you know? So this is noise here, noise. Okay? The noise will cause the output to swing between high and low, which is erroneous, you know, faulty, you know? Okay, so how do you prevent the faulty triggering, you know? Okay, so that's comparator with noise immunity. How to prevent faulty triggering? Faulty triggering. So what we do is that if if it is high and goes slightly low, we don't want to actually consider it as low, you know. Or <clears throat> if it if it goes slightly up, we don't consider it as high, you know. Okay? So it has to the signal has to go sufficiently high to be considered as high, and the signal has has to go sufficiently low to be considered as low. 
how can we do that so we have to put some limits in that the signal has to be higher than a certain level before we call it a high and the signal if it is high it must go to a certain low level before we call it a low signal before we will consider changing the output the triggering so what is a suggested way that you can do it? what do you think huh? exactly references. yeah exactly so we will start we add some references you know okay so we add some references in our uh, comparator design you know okay so we just throw this all out you know and we do design a comparator where we will have two references Okay, so let's maybe draw it here. Okay, so we are still drawing in the voltage transient curve, okay, as voltage versus time curves, okay. So Again, you will have your V out T here, V in T here, and then a level which we call here as your V set plus, V set plus, and the exactly same amount here, we call it as V set minus. Okay? And now we add two trigger levels. Okay? We add two trigger levels or two references, one positive, one negative, so that you have to cross over the positive level to be considered that your input is positive, or you have to go down to the lower level to be considered that your level is lower now. Okay? So we'll put two up, one on the top here. So this will be your V ref plus, but we can also call it a triggering point because this is a level at which will trigger a change in the output of the comparator. So we will call it also UTP, upper triggering point, okay, UTP means upper trigger point okay and we'll have also another one where underneath okay we'll have another one underneath exactly equal amount it's easier to design if you have the top and the bottom equal equal in magnitude so we make exactly same amount in the bottom not exactly to scale, you can see it's falling down here, so let's increase it slightly here, okay. And this one we'll call V ref what? Minus. minus. V ref minus. And what should you call instead of UTP? LTP. LTP. Okay. LTP. So you write down here LTP stands for lower Trigger point. Okay. So this is what we are going to build, you know. A comparator with an upper trigger point and a lower trigger point to make it immune to noise. Okay. So now what will happen is that you can draw your signal now, okay. You can draw any way you like, okay. So you go like this, you know, and then you maybe go like this, you know, like this, like this, and go down, you know, like this, like this, go up, like this, like this, okay, go down, I can extend it as far as I wish, 
and go all the way and then go slightly up slightly down and go up again here okay like this way so this is your input signal okay this is your v in in time so now you see that you have two trigger levels and initially the input is very low and this is your trigger level so can you now draw the output v out t considering that your trigger level changes as soon as you go up you see you are here now your output is high you see you go output is high up to here same thing same thing okay with a different correction now okay there is a minus here there is a plus here and here you have a upper trigger point and a lower trigger point two of them so you have to switch between two you know <clears throat> and you have input here you know v in t and your output here v out t okay so as your v in is low v in is low and you are actually looking at this upper trigger point okay which is higher than your v in t your output will be what positive or negative here or here <coughs> positive exactly so it will be positive until this point you know so maybe it's better to use different colors you know because there are so many levels now you see so i will use say blue for the output levels so up to here you will have this point it will go down okay so up this become higher than this so it will go down it will go down all the way up to minus v set minus here. now you see that after it goes above the v ref plus it again dips a little bit more you know, here but it can't fool you anymore because you have you will change from upper to the lower trigger point now as soon as your output has gone low your trigger point is no more this one now you move to the lower trigger point so that means this dip here is not going to cause your output to change back to high you, know. you have to go lower than this before it will change high back again so that means it's nothing going to happen here and you will have to go lower than this it's not happening and not happening here you have to go here so it will go all the way like this continue 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 until the signal actually has gone lower than the lower tipping point so now it will go up again okay so it will go up again up again up again all the way up to here now once again that the signal is playing games with you again you see is going little bit down little bit up you know it's nothing going to happen you know? because once you go to high it trigger level has changed to upper trigger point now. so just going little bit up is not going to do anything you know? so it will continue until this point you, know? you have to go all the way up to here and then it will go down okay it will go down and again you see this one going up down is not going to help you know it has to go all the way down here because once you have gone down the trigger point is now here okay so it will stay all the way like this until you hit this point and then is going to go up again all the way up onto the v set plus okay and now what will happen it will stay there stay there okay 
this is not going to help. You have to wait until here, because the trigger level is now here. Okay, so you'll go all the way like this now, like this now, until <coughs> this point, and that's the end of the story for now. So, what are the trigger levels now? Who can come and help me to draw, draw the trigger levels in these different regions? You know, where is which is the trigger level in which period? You know, which duration? I've already mentioned it, isn't it? While I discussed, I so I you want to do it? Okay. Okay. So, where is the trigger level here? Uh, this is triggering here. See, it's, it's, it's high. See, it is high all the way. See? Yeah. yeah. Okay, right. Then here. Yes. Then here. Okay, then it's there. Okay, good. Okay, so these are your trigger levels, you know. So here, <coughs> so if you go this part here, this part here, this is all, this is all up, you know. This is below the upper level, so this is all up, you know. All up. Okay, and for this part, the trigger level is all of this. So you low as low as low I can go, the trigger level is going to be continued to this. Okay? So now that we know how to how you can have a system which will actually be immune to noise, the question is how to build it, you know. How to design it. So design this now. How to design the system? How to design it? So you can see here, what you have to do is that you have to switch your trigger level. Okay. So you can see your trigger level here, a certain amount which is proportional to the V set plus or V C C also you can say. You know, your, maybe your V set plus is here and your V C C is here. Your V C C plus is here. Your V C C is here, and then the same amount here. Your VEE -E is here. As we have said before, the VEE -E and VCC, whatever it is, the V set plus and the V set minus are around 90% of it. So you can derive this voltage from this voltage or from this voltage. How? By voltage division. Okay. Make a voltage divider which will give you this voltage from either V set plus or VCC. And that is exactly the same amount, lower tripping point. Okay, you can get the same lower tripping point from either V set minus or V E by appropriately designing a voltage divider. Correct? So all you have to do is design a voltage divider. So okay. So how does it look? So you can build your system like this, you know. So you can progressively go like this, you know. minus this is plus and what you need is a upper tripping point and a lower tripping point and you need to switch you know switch okay so you have a switch either this one or this one and this is your v input here and this is your v output here this is your VCC and this is your VEE. Okay? So if your output is high, okay, if your output is high, you switch to this one. If your output is low, you switch to this one. Okay? If 
your output is high, output is high, you, you have this one as your trigger level. If your output is low, you have this one as your trigger level. So, if your output is high, upper trigger point. If your output is low, lower trigger point. Okay. You can switch. So, you can actually, then actually you can think that, okay, this I can derive from your voltage, either VCC or VE, same voltage, plus 15 or minus 15, okay, or from V set plus or V set minus, okay. So, you can actually now replace that with this. R1, R2, okay, and then you connect your VCC, or rather, you know, you can you can actually put the actual voltage that you have. Say if you if this is say uh, if this is say plus 15 volts, plus 15 volts, and this is minus 15 volts, and this is V out. So you can connect <coughs> plus 15 volts, minus 15 volts, okay, either this one or this one. If his output is high, connect to plus 15 volts. If output is low, you connect to minus 15 volts. Okay? There's no complication, isn't it? Or you can also be another voltage, the V set plus or V set minus, you know. Or you can have this connection with minus plus R1, R2, V set plus. V set plus V set minus. Okay, so you can either connect to this or you can connect to this output high and output low. And this is your output V out, and this is your plus 15 volts your minus 15 volts. Okay. But do you really need a switch? Next question. Do you really need to switch? What can you do to actually make it very simple? Exactly. All you have to do is take the output and connect directly to the reference. You see? So this is your V in. This is your V in, this is your V in. So, your output actually produces the V set plus and V set minus. So, when you want to go to, when you have upper trigger point here, the output will give you V set plus. When your lower trigger point is here, output will give you V set minus. So, you do not need to use the output to switch anything. You just take the output, directly connect it, connect it to the reference point, you know, okay. So, you can just remove it and put the connection back here. Is it clear? Can you show us? I thought, I thought you were shown. Jacob. Jacob, oh, you did yesterday also. Um, do you want me to draw a new one or just? Uh, just draw a new one maybe? Draw a new one here. Yeah, give a ground, give a ground and give R1 and R2, R1 and R2, give the, call it V out, 
ओके लेआउट एंड कॉल इट वीसीसी एंड वीई वीसीसी इज फॉर इन दिस एग्जांपल प्लस 15 वोल्ट्स वीई इज माइनस 15 वोल्ट्स इज इट ओके सो या इट डन वेरी गुड सो यू कैन सी हियर बिकॉज द आउटपुट इटसेल्फ यू नो यू डोंट नीड अ स्विच you don't need the output to switch to vset plus and vset minus you don't need the output okay when the output high you switch to this output low you switch to this but you don't need this switch because the output itself is vset plus or vset minus okay the output itself gives you what you need to use in the input of the reference to create the appropriate reference voltage the tripping point by using voltage divider is clear everybody everybody clear 200% 200 anybody less than 200% clear everybody anybody have any confusion no confusion isn't it so this is really a very simple design so the solution for this is what jacob has drawn over there okay. <clears throat> so this is your time domain diagram okay this is your time domain diagram what happens here or transient diagram transient transient curve okay that in time how a speed trigger works you know but we also usually draw another diagram what is that called what is another diagram that we draw for comparator voltage what is that transfer curve voltage transfer curve exactly so for this one okay for this one we call it speed trigger we call it compared to the noise impurity we want to give it another name so another name we can extract from the diagram of the voltage transfer curve okay so who can help us to draw the voltage transfer curve you can draw it here okay voltage voltage transfer is the transfer of voltage between the input and output okay so i will draw the axis for you okay i have drawn the two axis which one is input this way this way input yes okay so this is your v and this way is what yeah we out okay and then we have to give the output levels okay vcc ve and vset plus and vset minus so say this is your vcc and take the exact amount here this is your vee okay and then we have our vset plus which is slightly low so this is a vset plus and take the exact amount put it here this is your vset minus okay so we have all the correct output levels the input will start from where input will start like here you see the input started from a very low level very low low value you know input very small <coughs> value because you go lower and lower very negative so you can start your input from a very low level this input is negative here isn't it input is negative very negative can be very very negative large negative that is very small okay and then the input can go high now so if you start the input so you don't draw it like this anymore do you no. you draw it just on the line because it's not 
based on uh, you're just drawing the value on that line. Okay. So if you draw here, so if you're starting here from a very low input voltage, but before you do that, you also need your tripping points, isn't it? So you have to draw your upper and lower tripping levels as a pseudo plane, you know, a plane across the x axis in parallel with the y axis. Okay. So who can draw the upper tripping level? Upper tripping level, who can draw the upper tripping level? Yeah, you can, I know. Let me see who, some other customer. Okay. Put your name again? John. John. Okay. John will draw for us the upper tripping level. It's going, it's going, uh, Going at the angle, you see? Try to make it straight. Right. Straight, yeah. Careful. Yeah. See, still. <laughs> you want me to make it parallel for that? Parallel, yeah, because okay. it's parallel, you see? Right. Yeah, just keep an eye on that line so it will become parallel. You know? Okay, okay, very good. So this is our upper tripping level. You know, I'll just make it a bit longer. You know, but still keep some gap. <coughs> so this is your upper tripping point. Okay. <coughs> so this is a value. You know, certain amount of volts. See? Upper tripping point, certain amount of voltage. So, who can draw the lower tripping point? What is the name again? Huh? Amelia. Amelia. Okay. Amelia will draw for us the lower tripping point. But must be equal amount, you see? Yeah, equal amount. Because you see, we have chosen equal amount so that we can use the same resistance same voltage divider because keep the amount the same so you can use the same voltage divider okay done very good so this is your lower tripping point ltp okay so you have your ltp you have your, you have your utp now who can draw the actual transfer current So we start from very low low no value. Input is very low. Or I can do it for you also if you want. Input is very low. Where is the output? Input is very low. Where is the output? It's very high. Very high. And what is the tripping point? This one or this one? Upper, isn't it? Upper tripping point. So I will use another color, say. So it high must be this one, you know, B set plus. So I will try to make a parallel line with the x-axis. So it will go like this. Okay. So you can draw an arrow that as your input is increasing, it is going to keep on increasing until it hits this point, upper tripping point. Okay. What will happen now? Will I continue to go this way? I will go down, isn't it? I will go down. So now I will go down. And how far down I will go? V set minus. V set minus. Very good. What is the name again? Gene. Eh? Gene. Gene, okay. So Gene says we will have to go down here. So we will go down. We follow him. And we keep going down, keep going down until we hit V set minus. So this is going to happen here now. So your input goes up to here, it will go down. Here. So can we put the arrow this way? Going down? No? Yes? Okay. So you can put the arrow going this way. Or arrow going this way. This way. Okay. So arrow going this way. 
So you're going this way, then you're going down. Now if you keep input increasing, what will happen? Going down this way, isn't it? Same V set minus going this way. So V set minus this amount, put another dot here, put another dot here, put another dot here. So you will continue to go this way, this way, this way, this way. Okay? And can we continue to put arrows here? Yeah. Okay? So we can continue to put arrows going this way. Going this way, going this way, going this way. So once you are at this point, if we didn't go, if the input didn't go this way, if input go this way, is it going to go up? Say when you are here, we are saying the input is going this way, so you're going this way. So suppose when you were you were at this point and input actually go went slightly this way, will the output go back to high? Where will the output be? We remain at the same level. at the same level because of that, you know, because of the triggering level, you know. So triggering level has changed to this, you know, so it's it changed to this. So once you are here, the trigger level has changed to this, okay? So you go this way, you go this way. Now, anything goes up has to come down, isn't it? Anything goes east, come to come back west, you know. So you have gone this way, there will be time, you will go the other way, you know. So I can draw using a different color, going back the other way. So you're going back, going back, going back, okay? So we'll go back, you see? Go back, go back, go back, okay? Go back. So if I keep going back, I'm not going to go up, isn't it? I'm going to continue to be low, okay? Going, go up, okay? Going back, coming back, coming back, coming back, coming back. Now I hit this one. Now what will happen? I'll go up again. Where? So I'll go up again. So I'll go up. I'm going 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 up. And then... What will happen? I'm going this way, I'll go back this way. So I go up and then I'll go this way, I'll go this way, I'll go this way, I'll go this way, I'll keep going, I'll keep going forever you know, until whatever. Okay? So now this is the voltage transfer curve. So it's a bit different from the previous case, isn't it? Where you didn't have upper and lower tripping levels. You know. So you have you have a hole here, like see, you have a you have a box. And this box is called hysteresis. This is called hysteresis. When you create a box in your voltage transfer, voltage transfer curve, you create a hysteresis. So you can also call this what? Compared with hysteresis. Exactly. We call it computer with computer with hysteresis. Okay? So the hysteresis have a have a major, you know, how much hysteresis you have. So you have here this is upper tripping point, which is which is a positive value, lower tripping point have a negative value. So amount of hysteresis. equal to what? What is the qual qual quantitative measure of the hysteresis? What do you think? Hmm? Exactly, difference between the trigger points. So difference between the, between the trigger points is this difference. So this is your hysteresis. This is your hysteresis. So this is equal to UTP upper tripping <laughs> point, which is positive, minus LTP, which is negative. So it will be equal to UTP plus the magnitude of LTP. Okay? The upper tripping point level plus the magnitude of the lower tripping level. So that is your history. Okay? Okay, so this completes our <coughs> discussion on comparator with hysteresis. You can call it comparator with noise. You can call it 
or you can just call it speed trigger. And the next thing we need to do is to design in actual value, you know, uh, a Smith trigger or a comparator with these triggers. Okay, using actual resistances and actual op amp. Okay, so that we are going to do next. You know, so everybody understand how this works? Everybody clear? Over there in the back, is it clear? Okay, you are a bit silent in the back. You know, are you are you following me? Are you following me? Okay. So I'm going to call you next. You know. <clears throat> so have you taken all of this down? Can I erase all of this? Okay. So I'm going to erase all of this stuff. You know. Okay. I'll start using from maybe here. Okay, so now what we are going to do, we are going to design a comparator with hysteresis or what we call a speed trigger or a, what we call a comparator with noise immunity. Okay, so we have an op amp, okay, plus, minus, mean, and as Jacob has shown, We'll put R1 here, okay, put R2 here, to take it back the other way. out comes back here v out v. Okay. and say supply voltage is plus 15 say plus 14 volts <coughs> change it a little bit and then here is minus 14 volts <coughs> okay and we say that v set plus v set plus equal to 0 0.9 VCC and V set minus equal to 0 0.9 VEE. Okay, so this is equal to VCC and this is equal to VEE. Okay, so now the question is design. Comparator okay. with this circuit with <coughs> three volt hysteresis. Okay, the hysteresis is three volts. So design the copper bed base, you have to find the value of R1 and R2 for Three volt hysteresis. Okay. So we will take a ten minutes break now, and uh, you can practice this. Okay, continue to do this, or when we come back after the break, we will 
try to have it solved. Okay. 